Hello there and welcome to Linux Studio and in this video guide I'm gonna show you how to install Rust programming language in your Linux distribution. This guide is for all the distribution distributions like Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, CentOS, Rocky Linux, Arch Linux. So it literally doesn't matter which distribution you are using. So whether you want to install the language on your personal computer or on a server, just follow along. I'm gonna demonstrate it on my elementary OS. So this is Ubuntu derivative, but it doesn't matter as I said which distribution you're using. So first of all, what do you want to do? You want to install curl utility in your system. As this is Ubuntu derivative, it uses advanced package tool. So I'm going to use that to get the curl. If you're using any other distribution, then just execute the respective installation command to install the curl. Now just execute this command. You will find this command in the description so do not worry about that. I will provide the link to the article and you can get this command from there. So this is downloading the installer. As you can see it is providing some of these options. So what do you want to do? You want to go with the first option here. Proceed with the installation default. So just type 1 here and hit enter again. So basically it is asking to do some kind of customizations in two files that is mentioned. One is this one and another one is this one. So we will be sourcing this file in the terminal so that we can access the modifications. Just wait for the installation to finish and we will proceed then. So it has done the installation. It has installed all the necessary tools for the rust execution now what we want to do we want to simply source the new modifications that are done in these directories so one directory is this one and another one is this one so we will be sourcing these files in the system in particularly in this terminal otherwise you can simply close this terminal and start it again it will become aware about the changes but uh, in some cases you can't simply close the terminal for example if you SSSed into a server then you literally have to close it and start it again the whole session so you do not want to do that then simply source these files So as it is saying that you have to run this command, so we will do just that. Simply copy and paste. And then we want to do these two directory as well. Dot .vasrc and dot .profile. So just change this to vasrc and profile. Now we are good to go. Now we can execute the cargo commands and the rust rc command so let me just type rust rc and see what version is installed in the system you can see it's 1.55 i think it's the latest one as it was released recently so now let's execute our rust program So here is the rust.rs file now we need to compile it and then we will run it so to compile it just use rust c so this is saying that a linker cc not found and this is because some of the required utilities are missing and you can face this error in your system as well so to resolve this you can simply install the cmac and the gcc in your system so i'm gonna do just that so as this is ubuntu based distribution i'm gonna type sudo pipd get install and cmake now this will install all the required utilities for the system so i'm gonna simply accept and wait for the installation to finish then we will run the program again so now the installation has finished let's run the program again So these were the files that were generated when we got the error earlier. 
let me delete this file so this is the file let's run it again so first we will compile it now as you can see this time i did not get any error and we have this executable file now we can simply execute it and uh, as we wrote in the printf function it is printing hello from the rust we can also use the cargo to use the cargo just type cargo we are using the hello world program for the rust so this has created this program here is the folder just navigate to it and here are the files now to run a cargo program you just type cargo and uh, run and this has built the program and it has run it so this is uh, the text that is printing so you can find uh, the program inside this src folder just navigate to it src and here is this file let me see the content of the file and you can see it just a simple main function with the printf function and it is printing hello world so this is how you set up the rust and how to resolve those errors that you find while the installation of the rust i hope you find this guide helpful if you did then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below I shall catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux